Greetings students. Today we're going to learn about one of the biotechnology company of Australia, CSL Limited. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company, CSL Limited. Let us know this company in a much better way. CSL Limited has over 10,000 staff in more than 20 countries. They produce many life-saving and life-enhancing medicines that enable thousands of people around the world to lead normal healthy lives. Their headquarters is in Australia and they have substantial manufacturing operations in the US, Germany and Switzerland. CSL is a global specialty biopharmaceutical company that researches, develops, manufactures and markets biotherapies to treat and prevent a range of human medical conditions. They produce safe and effective therapies for patients who rely on them for their quality of life and sometimes for life itself. Founded in 1916, the Commonwealth Serum Laboratories, an Australian government body, focused on vaccine manufacture. Under the first director, Australian-born William Penfold, CSL commenced operation in the vacant Walter and Eliza Hall Institute, building at the Melbourne Hospital in 1918, before moving to its purpose-built Parkville premises in the following year. After ongoing disputes with the Commonwealth Department of Health and its director, John Howard Crumpston, Penfold resigned in 1927 and was replaced by Frederick Morgan. Soon after Morgan's appointment, CSL was drawn into a serious public health disaster when a batch of its diphtheria toxin antitoxin was implicated in the deaths of 12 children in what became known as the Bundaberg, Bundaberg tragedy of 1928. Although CSL's manufacturing processes were absorbed, its labelling procedures were seen to be in an error, leading to an enduring focus on the highest standards across the facility's production. In 1928, CSL also became involved in anti-venine, anti-venom manufacture in conjunction with the snake venom research undertaken by Charles Kelloway at the Hall Institute. This led to the successful clinical testing of anti-venine against tiger snake Notechis scutatis bite in 1930 and its commercial release in 1931. In 1934, the research on snake venoms was transferred from the Hall Institute to CSL under the direction of former snake showman Tom Pambo Aids. This represented the initiation of research at the laboratories and outcome its directors had been seeking for over a decade. The relationship with the Hall Institute continued until World War II, particularly via joint projects on viral diseases including polio and influenza, coordinated by Frank McFarlane, Burnett and Esmond Bill Coeck. Coeg played an important role in the establishment of penicillin production at CSL in 1944, a critical wartime achievement. The operation commenced plasma fractiona fractionation in 1952. Thereafter, the range of antivenoms increased, including those against other snake species such as death adder, Acanthophis Antar antarcticus, and the taipan, Oxyuranus scutellatus, plus spiders including the redback, Latro Latrodectus, Hasselti and after much difficulty the Sydney funnel web Atrax robustus. Much of this work including the introduction in 1962 of a polyvalent antivenom against all of the major terrestrial Australian snakes occurred under the direction of Saul Wiener while from 19, 1966 until the mid 1990s venom research was coordinated by the eccentric but dedicated Strom Sutherland. In October 2014, Novartis announced its intention to sell its influenza vaccine business inclusive of its development pipeline subject to regulatory approval to CSL for $275 million. CSL would merge the acquisition into its bio-CSL operation. The CSL Group values set a foundation for working across the organization and serve as a tool in decision making in the diverse businesses that form the CSL Group. In 2002, the company set out to identify a set of values common to the diverse business units that form the CSL Group. These values are customer focus. They are passionate about meeting the needs of their customers. Innovation. They seek better ways of doing things. Integrity. They are ethical and honest at all times. Collaboration. They work together to achieve better results. Superior performance, they strive to be the best at what they do. Researching and developing new medicines for unmet needs while continually improving our protein-based therapies for patients. Ensuring our therapies are safe and of the highest quality by maintaining the big highest standards throughout all stages of the product life cycle. Operating responsibly in the marketplace by marketing our medicines in an ethical manner. Working with others to improve equity of access and sharing our financial success. Minimizing our impacts on the environment through the responsible management of our operations and natural resources without compromising the safety, quality and accessibility of our therapies. So we got to know about the various aspects of CSL Limited. We went through the company's history to its present day scenario. 
Hope the information was useful and have a good day ahead.